I'm Yona Stanka and this is my studio. For me, the studio is just a generic name of a place where ideas take solid shapes. It can be anywhere, a room, a beach, a table or even my own body. What makes the studio is my own presence and my sewing tools, extensions of my hands. I am an artist that works mainly with textiles, a medium that I am exploring in a self-thought manner. My work combines various sewing techniques like collage, soft sculpture, installation, performance, but my most representative works are the embroideries. After I studied painting in Bucharest and Rome, I slowly made a transition to a whole new way of working, about which I knew nothing. Around 2013, I chose to take a break from painting, research, searching for a more personal way of expressing myself. To this added the fact that I felt, during my student years, that it was still a field dominated by men. So I started building my own weapons and my own independent practice. It is still a mystery if I chose the textiles or if they chose me. It was an organic attraction and it responded immediately to my needs. I instantly felt that it suited me. It was new so I had no preconceived ideas about it. I didn't feel the pressure of the art history on my shoulders. I could improvise but also use my skills that I came from painting. Above all, I love the fact that it is a medium that is historically associated with a woman's work and I feel like there's a sort of invisible thread that with each stitch binds us all in time. Soon the sewing machine became my favorite exploration tool. I can literally draw with it. I really feel like she's an extension of my own hands. Because it's not a specialized embroidery tool, I deliberately tailored and altered the process and made it functional because I like the way this synthesized method of sewing leaves a particular personal trace. I just love confronting my ideas and fingers with a physical process, its susceptibility to changes, even fails. Right now, my focus is on embroideries. I'm working on a new one right now. I draw the inspiration from my own personal experiences and I have to say that it's an empowering process that helps me deal with my own vulnerability or anxieties, making room for introspection and healing. A series of symbols are recurrent in my work, like chains, fire, certain flowers, female figures in an uncertain state of contemplation, or scissors that play an ambiguous role. They are sort of my genderless alter ego. I like building my images in time, letting the idea to ferment for a while. When it comes to embroidery, you have to accept that it's a technique that requires time and dedication. My performative installations consist in large-scale objects made of iron chains resembling a spiderweb or a hypersome piece of fabric, populated by soft sculptures evoking various sewing tools or studio pieces in different shapes and dimensions that are activated by performers. I assemble them in malleable organic structures that can be assembled depending on where they are, even outside, in nature. I like exploring the possibilities that can arise between the human body on one side and the fabric as a border between our body and the world that can both hide or reveal one's feelings. My most recent project, Elastic Structures, presented at the Museum of Contemporary Art in Bucharest, crystallized in my first publication, which also presents a selection of my creative process so far. I enjoy switching back and forth from embroidery to soft sculpture and performance, installation and more recently even bread.
I'm an explorer and curiosity and intuition have always characterized me.